this over with. Hopefully you watched my last little short clip that I uploaded. Um, otherwise that was probably really shocking for you. So I'm pregnant. <sighs> Strange even saying that. Still like wrapping my head around it. Uh, yeah, I'm out of breath, very out of breath all the time. So please excuse that. <laughs> I feel like I've run a marathon if I just like get up from a chair. I've been filming from the start. I mean, I have a clip of me taking the test and finding out in the moment there will be videos coming that kind of backtrack uh, because I was thinking of all of you <laughs> while this was all happening and we were keeping it a secret uh, and I was excited for whenever the time came uh, when we would share it. Um, I will admit the first trimester for me was awful and so um, those videos, even watching them back now, I think I've kind of like mentally blocked <laughs> how terrible it was. We are now, yes, uh, about halfway, a little over halfway. I feel great right now, other than feeling huge <laughs> and just sort of uncomfortable. And so we've taken a lot of the tests. We know everything is looking great, knock on wood. Uh, we have another ultrasound in about five days. But yeah, I couldn't hold it in anymore. And as scared as I was to share it, um, I also, it, I, I had to, partly because I've been really absent here, I feel like. And the videos that I have posted, some of you have even noticed, are not great. Um, I'm not especially like proud of any of them. It was kind of film when I felt up to it, film like when I thought of it, try to piece stuff together in a way that was watchable, but certainly not pre-planned, organized, fun videos that I am used to. And uh, I noticed you almost never see my face <laughs> for like the last five months of videos because what you guys didn't know behind the scenes is that, yeah, I was just ugh, struggling. Um, and so even like doing my hair, doing my makeup, using a light and a stand was, it was a lot. Now, you know, now I feel like I can be a lot more candid and genuine in my videos. Thank you so much for bearing with me. <laughs> Not knowing what was going on, um, you guys still supported me and watched those videos. I appreciate it so much. So I guess the elephant in the room, um, kind of behind the scenes here, this was planned. Uh, we've been talking about it probably since about this time last year. Of course, not seriously at first. Yeah, we just had a lot of really in-depth um, adult conversations about it ahead of time. And so this was, yeah, a decision we made. I've always wanted to foster and adopt children. So we kind of began this process with that. I might go into details about what that entailed, how we ended up here instead at the moment um, down the road my heart is 100 still in adoption as well but um yeah so we pursued a lot of different things and we were really serious about starting a family um i guess in 2021 and so we'll never ever take for granted um that we were very lucky to get pregnant uh basically right away and that has not been the case for a lot of my friends and family and uh, probably a lot of you. And so, um, yeah, I just, I will never not understand how fortunate that made us. Now that that's out of the way, <laughs> um, it was expected. Uh, we were prepared, as prepared as you can be though. And that kind of brings me into like what this looks like now, what our life looks like, what the rescue looks like, what this channel looks like. I kind of optimistic, I'm sure, but I think we, we've we got it. Uh, <laughs> you guys are, I know experienced parents are laughing so hard at me right now. Uh, the reality is though, I stay home. Um, all of my revenue sources are things that I do from home. Obviously the rescue, I do from home. And so I think that makes me incredibly fortunate, not only while being pregnant right now. I don't know how women keep full-time jobs and have potentially other children uh, if they're dealing with like 
the first trimester sickness like I was. I thought about that all the time. Just my gosh, I am <laughs> so lucky that I can, like when I'm not feeling good, just lay down. I can take a nap. I don't have to get dressed today. I think kind of translates into hopefully my life as with a with a baby being a little bit easier. I have a lot of responsibilities around here. I am always busy with the animals, of course, but it's all work that I love, first of all. It's all like healthy, active, mostly outdoor work. And it's not work that I couldn't have a baby nearby for, either wearing a baby or, you know, in a stroller or whatever the case is. I can always have it with me still and taking care of it also I don't have to have any set schedule for my days. So I like to keep the animals on a routine more or less, but it, it's all flexible within the day's window. So that of course makes it really easy. You know, worst case scenario, if it were just a, a case where the day is out of control and chaotic, I can get done the basics that need doing. So the feeding, the cleaning, water checks, all that stuff in a matter of probably under three hours easily. And that's doing a thorough job at it too. I'm not talking just like quick. It's all the extra stuff that ends up taking me a lot longer. So playing with all of them, interacting with all of them, brushing them, all that kind of stuff um, that I still want to be able to keep up with, but isn't necessary daily if this new <laughs> lifestyle doesn't allow for it, I guess. We have no intentions of stopping the animal rescues. In fact, since finding out, we've taken on 10 at least animals. So yeah, I don't intend for it to affect those efforts at all. Um, I don't intend to have to rehome pets in light of this at all. There may have to be some changes to certain pets' lifestyles, I suppose. Um, without a doubt, there are gonna be animals that can't like be around an infant necessarily. <laughs> And we are willing to do whatever we have to do, spend whatever it takes, um, put in the time, whatever effort we have to, to make sure that the animals are still living the same quality of life that they've had this whole time, regardless of this situation. <laughs> you know, in the long run, I think this could be a wonderful life for a child to be raised in. Um, I think it's exactly how I would have wished to have grown up as a kid. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just really, really excited that we can offer this to our kids. Also, we do have constant help. My mother lives next door. So there is that. Um, she lives next door. Ben's parents are just the town over. Uh, my sister is within an hour. And then we have um, some, well, I can't say too much, but another video for another time. Um, there's also someone else around all the time now. <laughs> so I have a huge support system. We do know what it is, but again, probably sound like a broken record already. That's going to be another video. Leave it in the comments what you think it is. <laughs> we don't have a name at all. We cannot agree on names. As far as how this is going to affect, hey Moon, how this is going to affect this channel, um, the content that I bring to you. I do intend to share a lot of the baby stuff here. I think technically like a good YouTuber would <laughs> have multiple channels at this point, like a vlog channel and then like a pet focused channel or something maybe. I'm not gonna do that, which is, I don't know, that's probably terrible. I'm sure there's a great reason why most people do, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, this channel has never been like a major source of revenue for me by a long shot. It has never even really covered like a grocery bill. So <laughs> I have sort of given up on the notion that like this will ever be a career path for me or that I need to look at it as like a business or market myself certain ways or, you know, pay attention to all of like the algorithm stuff and the uh, keywords and the trending stuff and the thumbnail. And uh, I'm sure you all are well aware. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not great at that stuff. And I think if I stress too much about it, I'm not going to enjoy the channel as much as I do right now. 
Anyways, um, my biggest takeaway from having this channel and sharing it with people is that I've created an awesome little community, I think. You guys love and support the animals and my rescue efforts and me. And so that is, um, that's kind of like my only goal here, I suppose. Whoa, hair. Hopefully you are no longer here just for the animals, I guess. I've kind of, yeah, tried to integrate like just my daily life as well. Kind of letting you get to know me better over the years, I suppose. And so I'm going to continue that. It's going to be kind of a lot of baby stuff. I still have so much amazing animal content. Introducing you to the new animals. When you are finished animal house still, that's been finished for like a year. Uh, we're working really hard. In fact, I think Ben's out there right now working on our reptile house. Um, invested a ton of time and money into that the last few months. There's just, there is a lot of animal stuff. So if you're like, I do not care about babies. I want no part of that. I promise I will still be showing you lots of animal things and just skip the baby stuff. I won't be offended. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. So I'll share it. If you enjoy it, great. Oh, I'm so out of breath. This is like the most I've talked in a week. I feel like I practiced this video so many times in my head because I have, I'm also suffering from like crazy insomnia right now. I'm up all night long. Uh, and so for the last couple of weeks, knowing that like, the time had come and I needed to get this up. Um, I would just lay there like running through all the things I wanted to cover and say, and it sounded so great in my head. And I feel like this was just a like spewing of all of it. <laughs> so just completely rambling, adding a baby to the farm. This is like, <laughs> this is going to be shocking. I think for anyone who's seen me in real life recently, because I have lived in nothing but extra, extra large sweatshirts. Um, and it's only been in like the last probably couple of weeks that I've been like, okay, I feel like I feel a little more comfortable with like the way I'm looking and I feel like I kind of look pregnant now. So kind of the first time that I've like worn something form fitting, but whew, here you go. Here it is. This is what I've been hiding from you in videos. Um, I feel like just in general, I have so much that like I want to catch up on with all of you and fill you in on. Uh, so hopefully that means you'll be getting a lot more videos soon. I will end this here before you are all bored, assuming you're even still here with me. Thank you so much to everybody that has said um, how happy you are for us. Be sure to do that thing where you like and subscribe and turn on alerts and comment and all that stuff that helps me and helps my channel and also helps you know when I'm posting from here on out. <laughs>